Who's ordered a takeaway? Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. John here on an overcast day here in Lincolnshire. It's probably going to rain, so I better speed this up and get it into the garage. This is my 2001 K11 Micro. It's the Vibe Edition, originally sold by Glyn Hopkin down south. It's just covered 24,000 miles. In fact, it ticked over the 24,000 um, on the way here to Dad's house. I've owned this car for about a year now and I genuinely think with a little bit of TLC it belongs in a museum. Possibly one of the best K11 Micras out there left in the UK. The fact that KGF Classic Cars were also in a bidding war with me against this one probably tells you that it's a hot property, but enough about them. Um, Dad's never seen this car because, well, he's had no reason to. It's been tucked away in my collection. I haven't really done too much with it since I bought it. I got took the train down to Essex, picked it up and drove it the 300 miles back home, and they were fantastic miles, bringing back nostalgia after nostalgia for me because I spent 10 years driving K11 Nissan Micras, and if you know, I had one as my very first car, which is coming to the channel very soon as a restoration project. And I've brought the car around to Dad's, it's the first time it's been out in about a year for a pre-MOT because it is due an MOT test next week. And in this video, we're going to get Dad's genuine first reaction to the car. As I say, he's not seen it. He, he knows about it, he knows I've bought it, and he knows that I think it's fantastic. But hopefully, Dad thinks it's as fantastic as I do. Hello, good morning. Hello. Um, I've locked you in the garage whilst yes. I bring you today's vehicle of choice. Not really. Your mum's not speaking to me, so I'm sitting in here. <laughs> um, I've brought you something from the Coopman collection yes. that you've not seen. Uh, it could be one of a couple of things. Um, I need an MOT check on it. That's why I brought it round. But I also want to get your first reaction to this car. So come with me. Let's... Does that mean I've got to go outside? Yeah, it is a bit, it's a bit nippy. Sorry. Yeah. Come with me. Come with me. Let's go. Uh, I'm going. I think you'll like this. Are you ready? Da, 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 da. It is the mighty K11 Micra 1 litre Glyn Hopkin uh, car from the channel. Who's ordered a takeaway? <laughs> Come have a look because is you've... Your, your mum's not supposed to order them and just eat. You've not seen uh, this car yet. You know that the car exists. You know that I've bought it. Oh, yes. um, you, like me, hopefully, love the K11 Nissan Micra and I suppose what people might want to see before we do a pre-MOT check is your first reaction to this car. I wish you'd cleaned it before you brought it to yeah, me. Yeah, it has. It's been stood. Yeah. Uh, it's got a bit dusty the past year. Um, I wish I had the option to give it a good old valeting before bringing it round to you, but sadly not. And I've run over some mud on the way here. It detracts from the splendour of this fine vehicle. <laughs> They are the best little old car in the world. You know, we used to laugh about these when I was in my forties. We used to say, don't park up near the old folks home, they'll all be out there poking it with their sticks and saying, isn't it lovely? And now I think they're wonderful myself. So you used to work for a Nissan uh, dealership, yeah, franchise? Uh, before then we used to buy them and sell them. Them Scandinavian imports, we used to buy them and sell them. They sold like hotcakes they did. And you've, you've, you've talked it's about... about 5,000 pound worth, isn't it? I don't know. I honestly don't lot. know. You could buy them ever so cheap. Basic ones, poverty spec ones. But um, Is this poverty spec? Well, it's one up. It's the Micra S. Uh, no, that's a lie. It's the Micra Vibe. Yeah. Uh, Glyn Hopkin edition, which is the dealer, obviously, um, who've removed the Vibe um, the decals. Naughty people. What have you got? You've got wheel trims... Uh, Got Cassette funny. player. It hasn't no. got funny seats. Sorry? It hasn't got funny seats. It hasn't got the funny seats. It hasn't got a sunroof, thankfully. It has no air conditioning. It has obviously got power steering. You've got fold-down rear seats. Um, this, obviously, is the second facelift edition. It is the last of the... I don't know what you'd class it. 
the registration numbers uh, being sort of a Y reg before it went to 51 plate. So it's uh, the, the, one of the last though, they finished in 2002. So it is one of the last Nissan Micras. It's Come on then, have a look round. Give us. I am looking at give it. Give us the tour. Oh. What's your initial thoughts? Well, it's lovely, isn't it? It's lovely. It really is lovely. It really is lovely, lovely, lovely. As you say, it could have done with a bit of a clean, it sadly. It could have done with some Lano guard on it. It could, yes. Before it gets any worse. Isn't it lovely? The thing about these was, if somebody says, what went wrong with them? Yeah, math sensors, that's the only thing. Yeah. Math sensors and springs, which is... But, isn't it lovely? Isn't it lovely? You're a fan of it then? You know I am. I love them. <laughs> I love them. I love them. Did you love them before I had one? The reason I got you one of these was I thought, well, it's going to get you from one place to another and get you back again. Yeah, super reliable. I never broke down in my K11, did I? No. A lovely, lovely, lovely... If, if you want... Somebody says, what do you want a car to get you from one place to another and get you home again? One of these. K11 Micro. Yeah, it's lovely. They really are good little things. It goes to show that they're still popular for certain trades. Yeah, they are, yes. Um, Which is a shame, really, because they're going to get knocked to pieces. It is them. the age-old joke, isn't it? That if you get a new, in fact, you started this video off with it. Who's ordered a takeaway? They are where I work and where we live. The takeaway delivery vehicle of choice. I almost have a theory of doing a bit of a Top Gear challenge, you know, and uh, ordering ten takeaways and seeing how many of them, what percentage, are delivered in K11 Nissan Micras. Um, and they are all going to get killed, aren't they, eventually? But, it's a shame, isn't it? <laughs> well, this is why I'm on they a quest... They do suffer with rot, though, me old mate. ...to preserve them. Well, uh, well, this one's not rotten, is it? No, but I know this one isn't. But the regular users' ones all used to rot out in there. Let's have a look under there. In fact, the newer ones rotted out more than the older ones. This in area here. Yeah, this went and then this went here. Well, that's OK, isn't it? That's all original look, under there, by yeah. the way. Oh, right, this is... It's unmolested, this one, isn't it? But they did that. It's got a little ding in it there, do you know? Uh, above the park. wheel arch. It's got a car park ding. It's, it certainly has, yeah, just one little ding. That's just it. you to spot that. It's got Apart a... from that, I don't think it's got... Isn't it lovely? Any issues? Isn't it blooming lovely? Can we have a look under the bonnet, Gromit? Yes. Don't start finding holes no. now. But that's where they go. In fact, if you got to an O2 one, that's where they've always gone there. They seem to get worse the later they got. These are built in Sunderland, aren't they? I don't know. I don't know whether this is a Scandinavian one or not. I can't How do we tell? Just, it's something to do with a VIN number, I can't remember. Oh, we're going to have a look under the bonnet, are we? That's where the, that's where the magic happens, isn't it? <laughs> well, as I say, it's not been cleaned. So, uh, I, don't, I don't know what we're going to be seeing under here. Ta-da! You can see lots of the original wax. Yes, because these sort of engine blocks, they get like a ferrous, I don't know, corrosion on them, don't they? Yeah, but this is the wax from when it was new, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And they go across there. The cross members? Yeah. Man. How's that cross member looking? It's like, it's like new, isn't it? Okay, under there, isn't it? So this wax on here, on yeah, these it's from when there's oil no. packs, is all from new. Isn't it lovely? <laughs> it's funny how they never did under the bonnet's body colour. Yeah, what's that all about? I don't know. Will I'm sure some very clever Nissan micro enthusiast will be able to tell us. But as I say, it's a bit dusty under there, but uh, it does come out. I wonder what Nissan Europe NV means. Oh yeah. So I think that plate on that car is different to the red one yeah. and i've also got a china blue one haven't i which is very similar in condition um we'll have to research it john yeah so under there yeah Deco there must be a nissan micro owners club there is they're very clever people as well they, they do know about it yeah well, i'll have be a look interested to know 
whether there's money, because like, like I said, the ones we were selling cheap, they bought a job, the boss bought a job, we were at Rover Garage still, and he bought a job lot of them, but they were Scandinavian. And we, That's... He bought loads of them for next to nothing, and we were selling them at about five grand a piece. Or well, something. that's what my flame red one is, isn't it? It's a Scandinavian import. Is it? Um, it's yeah. one that your boss bought. Mm. Um, yeah, but some other dealership did that one, didn't they? Then we took it in. I don't know. I yeah. thought it came from your dealership. No, it didn't, mate. It came from somewhere else. Well, do you want to have a look inside then? I don't know. It's a dare. <laughs> Which way are you looking let's first? Just, let's just see. Oh. Isn't it lovely? I'm not going to touch it because it's too clean. Isn't it? Oh! Oh, look at the anodising on these bolt heads. <laughs> it's a lovely, 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 lovely thing. It really is, isn't it? It lovely, lovely, lovely thing. I think now is the time for people to save a good K11 Micra. This one, I think, is one that... And I've said it It's time for somebody to get themselves one for the classic car shows, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. I think this belongs in a museum, this one. I genuinely do. Or somebody that's going to look after it and not use it as a daily, uh, as maybe, no. but to use it for pleasure. So I entered a bit of a bidding war with the folks at KGF Classic Cars, who are friends of mine, you know, there's no animosity there, um, and ended up... Paying too much for it. <laughs> Winning the bidding. I didn't pay too much for it. I'll tell you how much I paid. I paid just under £2,000 for it. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't think that glove box has ever been used. What we need is Amy to go, Nissan. <laughs> <laughs> Micra. Um, the lady that owned it, Greta. Uh, Come and get your mum to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Micra. Micra. Um, had three floor mats down. Two car covers on, she and and some sort of protective coating on the steering wheel. Um, she did tell me that her mechanic took the back seat plastic off only about two years ago. And I was a bit grumpy that they did that. Isn't it lovely? And look at that headlining in there. <laughs> it's it is a good little car and it's covered what? 23,999,000 miles. Now, what sort of, oh, you'd, what sort of, what sort of music would you be listening to on this? Thing? Oh, in here? Oh, I don't know. What would you be listening, what cassette would you put in? You see, it has got the original Nissan cassette deck, which... We could get your mum in. She has cassettes still. Yes, she does. <laughs> We could what go look through have? the cassettes. Alison Moyer. Oh, yeah. Mm, Alison Moyer was mid, late, early 90s, wasn't it? Mm. What could we have in here on cassette? Mm. Oh, from 2000. I don't know. You're the radio expert. Yeah. We'll have to, we'll have, to have a look through Mum's collection. But it's okay, isn't it? It is missing nice. floor mats. It doesn't have genuine oh. Nissan floor mats, which gutted about. Oh. Um, let's have a look in the back here as well. There we go. No, joking apart, it's, it's not, it's, it, it, it makes my day better just to see this. Isn't it a lovely little thing? Oh, oh you want to go in the boot? I forgot how to open the boot. Well, you, need, you need the key, my friend. Haven't they got a lever? No. I thought they had a lever. Oh, it's... Yeah. No central locking, though. No central locking. Oh, it is. It's almost poverty spec. It is, yes. It's not. It's not a special one. My flame red has got central locking, hasn't it? It does. Look in that boot. Dun, 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 yeah, it's dun, almost dun. poverty spec. Oh, I haven't looked under there. Careful with that carpet. Crikey, O'Reilly. I wonder if the jack's ever been out. Probably not. <laughs> I didn't even realise it was all. In there, as I say, I've not been in there. Isn't that lovely? Got the original tyre in there. Parcel shelf's not faded. Isn't that lovely? Here's a testament to it. What's that? The paint. Oh, that where they all go rusty? In here. Yeah, because it's thin, the paint. The paint it? has not gone missing. Yeah, because yeah, it's so thin and it was never, it never stuck. You can see the primer through it, though, still. That's yeah. That's going to go wrong. There were suds for it, there were. 
It's gorgeous, isn't it? Do you know, I've just spotted something in the boot. The original build sticker from the bottom of the parcel shelf. There, yeah, grey parcel shelf. It's got a time and date on it, but it ain't got the year on it, though. Ah. So the reason I've brought it round not only is to show you it, and so you get a good first look at it, and fall in love with it, is to give it a pre-MOT. It is uh, still in MOT, it's tax insured. Um, it needs a good clean, as, you, as you've pointed out. You've got but, another key. Oh yeah. I think I've got three keys. I've got paperwork dating back to its purchase. I've got the original bill of sale. Um, it needs an MOT. It's never failed an MOT in its life. That's it's true. never had an advisory in its life. And obviously it's up to us to carry on that trend. So I'd like to... It's got them plates on so that you can go across to do your booze cruise in it. <laughs> Give it a pre-MOT. Is Mr Glyn Hopkins still a guy? Like I believe so, yeah. Can we go and tell him, can we have all the Vibe stickers back, please? Yeah, <laughs> can we have the Nissan Micro Vibe sticker, please? But you're a fan of it. Well, yeah, you know I love them now. I love them, I love them to pieces. Do you want this one, then? No. <laughs> you can have this one, you I can keep it. it. I don't need it. You can one. love it. It's lovely. It really is lovely, isn't it? It really is blinking lovely. Let's start her up, let's listen to that one litre engine. Right, so I've had to have my battery uh, jump pack on here because the battery isn't on charge. Go on then. What do you reckon? Tell me how lovely it is. <laughs> Sounds good. Perfect, isn't it? It does drive nicely. I'll take you for a spin in it another day. But I begrudge putting miles on her. <laughs> isn't it lovely? It's like a new car, isn't it? Yes. You couldn't buy a new car for £1,900 today, could you? What's the plan? Almost a time, we can, this is what they call time warp, isn't it? Uh, yes. Uh, and like I said, the fact that that company was bidding on it against me at the same time, I don't think they buy things that aren't very, very, very good. But it, it deserves to be in the hands of a collector. It wants somebody that wants to sell a wonderful classic car. Yeah. I've got to admit, you know, if, if I was into the classic car thing, yeah, I bet I. <laughs> it's, yeah. Yeah. Because it's not very old yet, is it? Not really. But, well, when you say that, it's... 23 years old, mm. there's cars out there that are five years old that don't look like this. Saw a pre-facelift the other day, told you about it, didn't I? I do like them. But I prefer these ones. With the big, I call them dragon nostrils. With the big dragon nostrils. This is the question, right? What are we going to do with it? Pass it on to somebody that can, that's going to love it. I know, but I really would quite like a perfect K11 Micro in the collection. Well, get rid of a Proton and put it in your shed. Or build more sheds. No, that's not going to happen. <laughs> I ain't got the time. So overall then, you're a fan of this Micro? It's lovely, isn't it? Have I, here's the question, have I wasted 1,800 quid? Of course you ain't. No, exactly. What do you get for 1,800 quid? Exactly. Good. It is lovely. There's going to be... It's a, a shame to put a spanner on it. Well, don't do it then. Leave it alone. <laughs> There's going to be another video on the channel coming soon, which is the pre-MOT checks that Dad does on the car. 
If you want to see that video, let me know in the comments below and uh, it will be coming shortly. Guys, it, I'm, I'm not being funny. It, it, it wants somebody to have it. It's going to, this is my show car. There you go, it's yours then. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not <laughs> Good. Right, that's it then. If you've enjoyed this video and Dad's first reaction, um, let me know in the comments below. I, I kind of knew Daz, Dad was going to appreciate it and love it because, well, he's a sucker for a K11 micro. Just I like go me. look at them when I see them. <laughs> <laughs> they are the sort of car as well that I am now seeing more and more at classic car shows. Yeah, why not? The Festival of the Unexceptional 2023 had quite a few of these. Um, and uh, they were all in fantastic condition and loved by their owners. I will always go and speak to the owner of a K11 Micra, uh, even if he is bringing me a kebab. Um, let me know in the comments below, what do you reckon? What should we do with the K11 Micra? Should it be interred into the collection and we sell something? Or should we let it go, make a little bit of uh, beer money on it and um, let it go to somebody that is going to really appreciate it? I've got a better idea. Get rid of Jeff. No, that's a proton. But, oh. no, but let somebody else have a proton and you could have this. Bit of diversity. Oh, yes, okay, I understand. Comment down below, uh, let us know. Thanks to everyone that subscribed. Um, and if you could give the video a thumbs up for the K11 Micra, I think you'll appreciate that, won't you? Thumbs up for the Micra. Ah, about two thumbs, mate. <laughs> two thumbs up for the K11 Micra. Until next time, have a great day. Whatever you're getting up to, take care. Goodbye. If you've enjoyed this video, I've selected a few more specially for you on this page. Click either side to select them now. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button to always stay up to date with the channel.